Good morning, First Presbyterian Church. This is truly the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to invite you to gather your family all around you so that you can all share in this worship experience together. And if your family is ungatherable at the moment, please know that you are part of God's family, the church, which is gathered together this morning all across the world in creative and inspiring ways. If you're watching this morning via Zoom or Facebook or YouTube, I want to ask you to take just a moment to use the chat or the comment feature and just drop us a note and let us know that you're watching today. And if you have a camera on your computer or your phone, please turn it on now so that we can see you and you can see us and we can all be present with one another in the fullest way possible through this online medium. Now, later in today's worship service, we are going to observe the sacrament of Holy Communion, all of us together in our respective homes, living rooms, and kitchens. In order to make that work, what I would like for you to do right now is go to your kitchen and get some bread. Any kind of bread will work, or anything with bread in it. Sandwich bread, tortillas, crackers, goldfish, Cheerios, bagels, whatever. Just make sure that you have enough to share with everyone in your house. If you have wine or grape juice or any kind of fruit juice or anything you're willing to pretend is fruit juice, go get that too, along with as many cups as you need for the people in your home. Now, if you've already got all of that together, great. If not, Go do that right now while I'm saying the opening prayer. And don't worry, God will still hear the prayer even while you're in the kitchen. If you hurry, you'll make it back just in time for our opening song. And now, let us go to the Lord, or to the kitchen, in prayer. Gracious Lord and God, we come before you with gladness in our hearts, with thankfulness, for the gift of worshiping you in community with others. Lord, we know that we bring other things today as well, things we are less proud of. We bring our anxieties and frustrations from the week that has passed, our distractions and a million things we allow to come between us and you, between us and the people you are calling us to become. For these very human failures, Lord, we are sorry and we ask your forgiveness. We lay all of our burdens at your feet. Take them and make us new again. Put a new song in our hearts and a new purpose in our steps. Use us in our families and our communities as agents of your love and grace. And as we gather around the table today to share the sacrament of communion, may it remind us of the sacrifice that you made for us, giving up your life so that we might have life that is full of faith and hope and love. We pray all of these things in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and all of God's people together say, Amen. Our opening song this morning is All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. You can find the words and the music in the Presbyterian hymnal number 263. And if you don't have a hymnal, don't worry, we'll put the words on the screen so that you can sing along at home. Let us now lift our voices together in song.
Our scripture reading today is from Acts 2, 37 through 47. The first converts. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away. Everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him, and he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles, teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Life among the believers all came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all, as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be 